Hi everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm so excited to have you. This is the place to be if you are an art and craft person, if you enjoy trying new mediums, or if you're just starting out or you just want to play. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how I very inexpensively take my photographs for my alcohol ink paintings. I'm not using anything fancy, I'm just using my iPhone and natural light and I'm doing this inside. So stick around and I'll show you the details. Hi, I'm Kelly Tassie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell and you'll never miss one. Hey guys, so someone was asking about photographing or scanning some of their alcohol ink paintings and uh, I know it can be challenging. So let me tell you what I do. I have my alcohol ink painting here. This one actually is done on mineral paper. You can see how thin that is. I love mineral paper. It's a really inexpensive uh, paper compared to uh, a Yupo paper if you want to try it. So anyway, I have this one. I have a natural light coming in from my window here and you can see I've got quite a bit of light here. And I have it directly, it comes in directly onto my desk upstairs. So that's really the key if you want to take it indoors. You want to get that indirect light and on a cloudy day or an overcast day is really the best time, which it happens to be today. So I'll show you what it looks like outside here, out my window, and I'll show you the lighting on my desk. And this works really well. It's a very quick, easy fix. Um, and I take the pictures right with my iPhone 6S. So there's more cameras out there that are a lot better than this one, but um, it takes great pictures. And you want to make sure that you do your settings, put your settings on your highest resolution, and that really helps. Uh, so I usually don't keep it on my phone for very long. I'll usually just transfer it right directly to my Mac, or you can transfer it to you know your computer, your PC, uh, or hard drive or something, external hard drive. So that's the best way to do it because they are quite, they can be quite large. All right, so you can see I have, I'm upstairs. I have my natural light coming from my windows here, and then I have my desk is right here. As much of the brightness as I can here from the natural light. So it's an overcast day, and there is um, a good amount of light. So it's, you don't have that direct sunlight, but you have, you know, it's very bright out, but it's it's overcast, so there's tons of clouds up there so sun can sometimes be a little bit of a problem so hold this up i've got a lot of gloss and shine with that i've got my uh, silver pens and stuff in there but you can't really see any of that when you're coming straight over on top of that and i'm going straight down so there's really no glare all i do is i zoom in to where i want to capture it so this is the still photo that i just took with my iphone you can see it comes out very clear that's the trick Good lighting, um, and if you have a, even if you have a tripod, it's even better because take a photo directly down. That's what I have here. This is my Archon that I just got in. So this has got a swing arm on it, so I can actually put my camera on this and um, you know aim it down and take the photograph that way, and that way it's still. But honestly, this. Uh, this iPhone, unless you're blowing it up really, really big, it, it works. It does uh, does a good job if I want to take this picture and download it to like Fine Art America or something. Oh, and I also wanted to let you know that I actually have uh, my process on this. If you're interested in seeing how I created this, um, I have this one. I'll link it for you right up here. You can click on that link and it will take you to how I painted this and my frustrations that I had while I was making this painting. So thanks again for hanging with me. Make sure that you click that like and share button. Let me know I am doing something good in the world. Either emoji, thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're doing your photo shoots a little bit differently, especially for alcohol inks. We would love to be able to share this information with other folks and they'll read through the comments. I will see you guys next week. Have a great week. Be creative. Bye-bye.